Alright guys, in today's video I'm going to show you Filmora Video Editor, one of the first AI video editors. Many of you know how time consuming it can be using normal video editors, so I'm excited to bring this product to you guys. Make sure to watch until the end, and I'll show you how to utilize some AI effects that Filmora offers in your editing. Let's jump right in. Don't forget to check out the video description to get the latest offers available for Wondershare Filmora, which is available across all major platforms like Windows, Mac, and phone devices. As far as pricing, you can use it under a perpetual plan or a monthly subscription, whatever you prefer. Now let me show you this tool. When opening Filmora, the startup window appears with your most recent projects and several operations to quickly start making videos. For instance, with Instant Mode, you can start working from ready templates. With Screen Recorder, you capture your desktop screen, webcam, and even your microphone. You can also choose AI text to video to generate videos from textual instructions, complete with images, background music, voiceover, and caption. In this video, we will see how to make videos from scratch with the AI support of Filmora Copilot where applicable. Go to New Project to start with a new project, setting Aspect Ratio above. This opens on the main interface, getting the project timeline at the bottom where you work and build your video. Here you can import your own videos, images, and audio files by dragging and dropping these. You can also get royalty-free content from stock media and audio sections on the left. All these media files are shown on the timeline as blocks called clips and also listed under media, project media. Audio contents reside within audio tracks showing waveforms through time while visual content is collected on video tracks complete with thumbnails, and also sound waveforms if your videos come with audio. Click and drag on the timeline to zoom in and out and move in time with your mouse wheel while holding down the ALT or shift key. The video preview in the top right corner shows the timeline content where the red marker is placed in time. Click on the timeline or drag the marker to check different frames as you need. You can also press J for reverse playback, K to pause, and L to play forward, pressing twice or more to accelerate. Above, set the preview quality and go to settings. Change project aspect ratio to set the preview aspect ratio, video resolution, and frame rate. Filmora 13 now comes with Filmora Copilot, your dedicated AI assistant for video editing. You can ask for more information and shortcuts about specific features such as color match, get rendering tips, realize direct operations on selected clips such as increasing contrast, or extracting subtitles from any video clip containing speech, or ask to generate media with the AI tools of Filmora. Copilot needs an online connection to work properly and dedicated AI credits that may change according to your license. Now let's understand how to edit the timeline clips. Click on any clip to select it and drag it to move it in time or to another track. Frames and audio from videos are moved and edited together unless you right click and go to detach audio to make these independent. If clips overlap in time, the one on the top video track is shown in front of all the others on lower tracks. You can cut, copy, and paste any selected clip with Ctrl or CMD and X, C, and V using Ctrl or CMD and Z to undo. You can cut any clip to remove it quickly, leaving gaps if you have the auto ripple option disabled. Enable it if you prefer covering the gaps automatically. Drag the edges of any clip to adjust its duration by cutting part of its content. You can also split any clip by placing the marker and using the scissors button on it. You can also right click on such a video clip and go to the smart edit tool. You can use AI text-based editing to trim your video automatically by either removing silent parts with sound-based editing or editing the transcribed text with text-based editing. In this case, Filmora extracts the subtitles from each video speech and lets you remove unwanted parts directly from the text, letting AI do all the adjustments on the video automatically. Filmora includes the newest compound clips, very useful to manage and edit multiple clips together as a single clip. Select all the clips, right click, and go to create compound clip to group them all. You can enter inside any compound clip from the top left corner. To manage entire tracks, you get several options on the left. Lock any track to prevent modifications on its clips. Use the speaker button to mute audio and the eye to hide any visual content. You can manage and edit the properties of any clip by double clicking on it. The panel on the right shows several sections according to the media type. On visual content, Click basic under video or image to adjust the clip size, position, and inclination by dragging sidebars or typing exact values. 
applying with the Enter key. Switch these options off or on, and set Blending Modes, Transparency, Enhancements, and Shadows. Click on the preview to edit the clip directly there. Switch to Mask to crop the clip by picking any shape, or enable AI Mask to define a more complex subject by either brushing on the preview or let AI do the job for you. Apply Chroma Key to remove any background by matching a specific color and open AI Portrait or Smart Cutout to remove backgrounds from portraits. When selecting videos, enable Motion Tracking to track motion. Set the target point, let Filmora analyze the motion, then head to Element to import a media file to apply to the tracked box. Use Stabilization to reduce shakes and Lens Correction to adjust lens distortion. Open Animation to apply motion to clips. Double-click on any preset and check the result on the preview. Two keyframes are added to the clip, one where the animation starts and the second where it ends. Move these in time to set their placement, as well as the motion speed. You can also click on a keyframe to select it and therefore edit the animation from Basic Transform. When selecting audio content, you can adjust volume, balance channels, correct pitch, or apply audio filters with equalizer. You can also reduce noise and enhance audio properly. Switch to color to correct the colors while checking the preview or the color scopes from the top right corner. Pick any preset or set any lookup table to adjust temperature, tint, saturation, exposure, brightness, contrast, and much more. Open HSL to correct single color channels, curves to set a custom color curve, and go to color wheels for custom color grading. On speed, you can set a faster, slower, or reversed playback rate to any video. On AI frame interpolation, choose optical flow for outstanding ultra slow motion when you render the video. Click on speed ramping to change the playback rate over time. From the left side, you can also add several elements and graphics. Go to titles to drag and drop any text template onto the timeline. You can double click on the text clip to modify it on the left, choosing what to edit and adjusting content, font family, size, color, and style. Also, set the text placement directly from the preview. Open the transition section to add transitions by dragging and dropping these to any clip edge or between two adjacent clips. You can move and edit any transition just like standard clips. You can also switch to effects to add special visual effects. Just drag and drop any effect onto any clip and edit its properties from the effects section on the left. Now let's see how to save and export your work. Go to File, Save Project. As to save your work as a .wfp file, in order to reopen your project anytime. You can also back it up on Wondershare Drive online from the startup page. To export your project as a video, click on Export in the top right corner. Choose device to render for tablets, smartphones, and TVs. Select YouTube, TikTok, or Vimeo to upload on these. Switch to local to render on your local computer. Set name, destination, video resolution, and frame rate, and enable backup to the cloud to upload the result to Wondershare Drive. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.